Swan Adventurers, we are currently at Crystal River Archaeological State Park. You want to tell a little bit about it? Lisa, Lisa actually has done the research on this place. This is pretty cool here. Yeah, I did a little back history. It, it has to date back to, actually, I read BC as far as Native American um, living here. or It's mostly a ceremonial site and burial ground. Also, they have a museum that's not open now uh, containing artifacts. That were buried here as well. We'll definitely have to come back and yeah, check that out so, once um, We'll have to get a little more history on that. But um, and in Florida, this is something I feel is unusual to see, as far as the mound height. Um, it's so nice they built a stairway here. Jen's going to Jen is going to um, ascend, ascend to the top. She's and listen, guys, I have <laughs> you don't even know how much anxiety I have about heights. I'm really freaking out right now to the add to the excitement of climbing it though apparently there's a very beautiful view of the water on the other side so uh, so i have to do it i have to go up there and get some video and pictures for you guys and and lisa as well because she is not able to make the climb due to her broken leg yeah, i'm still healing uh, she's still healing so i'm gonna try to do it for everybody guys i'm gonna try awesome let's go <laughs> this is really cool guys it actually sits right on the water pretty awesome and we are getting ready to make our way up those steps, which is a little unnerving for me because I'm afraid of heights. <laughs> and that's pretty high step. Those are pretty steep. So I'm gonna do it though. I'm gonna do it for you guys, I think. <laughs> we'll see what happens when I get halfway up. It's not going up that's the problem for me. It's coming down. I have a feeling the view will be worth it. Wow, that is high. Holy crap. All right, so here is some information for you guys. It says, much like an arena or stadium in a big city, Mount A serves as a symbol of grandeur that would impress visitors to the site. It's pretty interesting. So they actually do have burial mounds here. The mosquitoes are really bad right now. It looks like a storm might be coming in shortly. So I think what we're gonna do is when I get back down here, uh, I think Lisa's gonna go ahead and set up the Necrophonic get everything ready to roll for when I come back down so we can go ahead and do our spirit box session and I mean listen if there are bodies Spirits anywhere on this property. They're gonna come and talk to us because they know we're trying to communicate with them. So That's an important thing to understand. It doesn't really matter where you are The spirits will come to you and communicate with you if they know that you're open to communication with them and that you are not threatening in any way Okay guys, so a little update for you. I made it about halfway up the steps there and went into a full-blown anxiety attack, which was not fun. So anybody that has anxiety and fear of heights, please drop me a comment in the comment section. Let me know if you have been able to get a handle on it and you have been able to push through that fear uh right now lisa's not able to go up but you know at some point we would both like to be able to come back and ascend all the way up those stairs in the meantime we are going to go around to the other side there's a bench we can show you the water view and we can show you the mound from that angle but i'm still shaking from this anxiety attack and i hate that it has such a hold over me i was literally sitting there in tears because i want to go up there so bad and i want to take you guys up there and I know one day I'll be able to, but right now I just can't do it. So my apologies. I really wanted to show you guys that view, but you know, I'm going to get a handle on this thing. I know I can beat this eventually. I'm trying to figure out why I'm so afraid of heights. I don't, I can't really remember back to when I wasn't so, but I'm sure something happened and I just, I got to remember what happened so that I can overcome it, but we're going to take you guys over here now and then we're going to do our spirit box session so i know you guys are looking forward to that let's do this guys look how high that is hey guys so i just love archaeology and things like this and i'm kind of disappointed i can't go today but i want to come back but um jen was had a good point though it'd be nice if they had uh maybe like a regular trail or a, a landing to make it less steep coming back down because it's really the up's not the problem it's coming down because <laughs> when you look down it's like you know when you get to the top of ski slope so anyway there's yeah it's just through. it's straight down and the thing is like i have really bad depth perception yeah it would just take one misstep right. and you would tumble down the entire yeah, flight of long, stairs you know long. and you i know have... that's why i'm so afraid yeah. you know I, I have a i'm partially blind in one eye so you know my depth perception is really bad i told you i could next time we'll strap a mountain climbing cable around <laughs> <Hook it up. laughs> 
<laughs> then she'd have a back I don't know. So we'll go over to the river and check it out. It's yeah, let's go take a look, and, um, guys. There are a couple other smaller shell mounds here on the property as well. Uh, I was reading about, so basically there's, you know, more to look at. We might head over to, this one's lower. We can actually just walk right up to it. Um, well, we'll let's go look at the view. I think that'll be nice. And then we'll catch an EVP session too here. I think that'll be interesting. Definitely. Yeah, it's beautiful here. I will say you should bring your uh, mosquito repellent yeah. though. So as we were walking around, we noticed that it looks like they actually did have a trail that led up to the back of the mound. And it looks like currently it's overgrown. I don't know if they're just not maintaining it because of COVID, um, but that would have been so much easier for both of us because it's, it's flat, you know? I mean, it's graded a little bit, but you know, you could still make that trek and it's not like straight up, you know? I would have no problem doing that at all. Let's go take a look. See, it starts right over here and it winds up around the mound and it levels off up there. That would have been so much easier. And I could have avoided my anxiety attack. Let me just show you. They call these shell mounds because of all of the shells that are used to build it up. See all the, um, it looks like oyster shells, maybe perhaps um, some scallop shells. Scallops are huge here. Uh, they have a scallop season. Let's just get a closer look. See, here's a giant oyster shell right there. And it looked, I mean, I don't know. It might be possible that they stopped using the paths because of erosion. Maybe they're concerned about safety. But that is really cool. So we're going to, we're right next to the water now. Let's walk out to the water and take a look. It is so pretty here, guys. I mean, this is big water. I guess this is the Crystal River. I guess, yeah. So right here is the shell mound, guys. I'm just gonna show you what it looks like. This is the view from the seawall. It is absolutely beautiful. What a perfect day to be out on the water. Look at the blue skies. Pretty amazing. There's a sign over here. Let's go see what the sign says. Sensitive area restoration in progress. Okay. No swimming allowed. Or fishing. So they're trying to preserve all of this land, which I think is admirable. There goes a the boat. This is a pretty amazing view from the seawall toward the mound. Look at these beautiful trees. They got this amazing oak tree right here and a nice sitting area. It goes a jet ski. Tearing it up. Pretty cool. We're going to go ahead and turn on the necrophonic now and see who wants to communicate with us. Let's do this. I'm going to go ahead and face the uh, camera out toward the water so you guys can take a look at the water while we're doing our necrophonic session. All right, Lisa's turning on the necro now. Hello. We came to visit your mound today. We were hoping to talk to you a little bit and find out more about your uh, heritage. Do you like having visitors? What tribe were you? That sounded like uh, Native American chanting. That was pretty cool. You're just like, oh, I'm sorry. Just like we heard the other night when we were at the other um, Native American burial mound. It's pretty cool. Are there any? Are there any Native American chiefs here? Wow. Okay. Start talking. They talk. Native. Can you tell us your name? 
I heard tell us. Our names are Jen and Lisa. Okay, uh, what else do you want to ask? Were you here during the ceremony on the mounds? That was interesting. No, how many Native Americans are buried here? Did you live on the river? For those of you that don't know, no seams are these little tiny gnats that have these jagged teeth and they literally rip your skin when they bite you. It's microscopic awful. Ripping. Microscopic ripping. It's disgusting. Look it up if you if you're not familiar with that. It's horrible. It said teeth. Did you hear that? Yeah. It said teeth. What's that? I guess they're agreeing. Did you guys have no seams back in your time? We do. So I just noticed that there is a crow walking over here. Is that one of you guys? Oh, hi. Crow. Yeah. What's your name? Can you come close? Can you come closer to us so we can get a good video of you? We're making a video for our, our friends on YouTube. Hey. What? Something Did you used to eat uh, crab? Crabs? You probably had uh, oysters and scallops as well mm -hmm. because they have the shell mound here. It's a lot of shells. Shellfish. Oh, they're biting my ears. These mosquitoes literally will bite your ears here. And your eyes, too. Yeah, it's crazy. Can you tell us anything about the shell mound over here? <laughs> Has this tree been here since your time? I don't know how long these trees live. It's pretty old. How? When did you say they started here at a civilization? Well, in the Wikipedia I read back as far as BC. Oh. So... It's amazing that these shells last this long. So that, like they don't... I, mean, I guess they don't break down. Right. Do you remember any artifacts that are buried? An eagle or an osprey flying across the water? Over there. Oh, I see it. I think that's an osprey. It's a big water eagle. Water. water. Beautiful. Is one of you an osprey? Whoa. It said down through it. Did you hear that? Yes. Who did that? What was that? I did hear something. Yeah, it was the uh, the shell. The tree. Something came out of the tree. It said down, and then it said through it. Who threw that? Probably acorn. Maybe acorns. There's our acorns over there. Possibly, yeah. I think it's an oak tree, right? Yeah, I think. Well, I saw acorns on the ground. <laughs> Is there anything you can tell us that's not written on the signs? Something that only you would know. There goes our crow. Trying and he's got a friend with him now. They say Florida? <laughs> what are you trying to tell us? If that crow is you, please come closer to us. 
Come here, buddy. That sounds like a different language, like a Native American language. <laughs> there is that bird again in the bowl. So. Here he comes. Can you say your tribe again? Sure, if it's a, it might be a fellow. Oh. Huh? Oh. It could be the osprey, even. Water. Water. I think he's. Yeah. Hi, buddy. Oh. Did you come over here to talk to us? No. Oh. Here he comes. It's a talk. Hey. Hi. What are you trying to tell us? Okay. Something over there. It's like interested in that. He came pretty close to it. Yeah, he did. Kind of sidestep. Hold that just a second. I gotta itch my head. I can't stop itching. Yeah, I'm probably gonna, gonna last too much longer. Ugh. Getting it bitten up, guys. I don't know how the Native Americans dealt with that. Probably, uh, they probably had herbs that kept them away. Yeah, I bet you. fire. They fire, kept, yeah. kept the fire smoke. <coughs> Can you say hello to all Here. of our fans? Here. Here. Can you, you say, can you say hello to them? Do you have any ancestors oh. still living hello. here? Hello, they said. Oh, it. hello. Oh. Thank you. I'm sorry. Thank you. <laughs> hello. Do you have any ancestors living in, in this area? <laughs> Did it say raptor? <laughs> well, I think we're going to probably cut the uh, spirit box session, but we're going to continue filming as we walk out of the park so we can show you guys the other mounds because we do pass them on the way out. So we appreciate you speaking with us. And if you uh, want to come through and speak directly into our camera, we can hear you and play it back. Thank you. That just sounds like a Native American call. I heard that. Come from across I don't know. I don't know. You can speak to our camera. I think we just heard you. Can you do that again? Are there any spirits here that want to say something to the camera? So if you look in the distance straight ahead there between those palm trees, there's another mound over there. That's a burial mound. And like I was saying earlier, like we don't feel the need to actually stand right in front of the burial mound to get EVPs because they'll come through no matter where you are. They know where to find you. quiet here today there's actually not been very many other people here so that's kind of a nice thing there's plenty of seating here too guys uh benches 
along the path. So that's always a good thing. You can kind of just sit down and take a rest. But like I said, <laughs> make sure you have your bug spray with you. And we have the natural stuff and it is not working at all. So I don't like to use DEET, but I think it's going to be a requirement if you come here because it is really bad. The Florida wetlands. I, I do know that they have something also that's like an electronic device that's supposed to send out some kind of a signal. I don't know if those work. Let me know if you guys have any experience with that. We might have to get something like that because it is we bad. We've got to find some kind of protection from mosquitoes when we go out on our investigations, especially in Florida. Yeah. It's just... The last couple of days have been really bad. Okay, guys, we just took a, uh, another road um, off of the Shell Mount area, and this is still part of the state park uh, down by the river, and they do offer boat tours here. They're actually closed right now uh, due to the COVID, but I just wanted to show you, and um, I just heard some fish jumping down here too. It sounded pretty big. <laughs> this is a beautiful area. They also, I'll flip it around, they have a it's kind of like a welcome center and restrooms, which are nice because they're open and I was very pleased it was very clean in there. So, like I said, it's just down the street from the archaeological area. So I'll just give you a little view of the river. Looks like the boat tour boat here that usually goes around. I You can Google online. I'm, I'm not sure what the tickets cost for that. Um, but I do know there's an extra fee. You can see the river expands down that way. It's beautiful here, really. Look at this beautiful, I think that's a blue heron. He's just chilling there. He's probably waiting for a fish. Okay, guys, we just took a, uh, another road um, off of the Shell Mount area, and this is still part of the state park uh, down by the river. and. They do offer boat tours here. They're actually closed right now uh, due to the COVID. But I just wanted to show you, and um, I just heard some fish jumping down here too. It sounded pretty big. <laughs> this is a beautiful area. They also, I'll flip it around, they have a, it's kind of like a welcome center and restrooms, which are nice because they're open and I was very pleased it was very clean in there. So, like I said, it's just down the street from the archeological area. So I'll just give you a little view of the river. Looks like they have airboats parked over here too. Those are fun. Used probably for the park um, personnel. But here's the, uh, looks like the boat tour boat here that usually goes around. I You can Google online. I'm, I'm not sure what the tickets cost for that. Um, but I do know there's an extra fee. This is what I call the real Florida, the water life, boating, um, kayaking. It's a lot of marinas around this area. Looks like that's probably a kayak launch over there. You can see it going up to that little um, roof area. Okay, guys. Thanks for joining us. I hope you enjoyed this. All right, guys. So we hope you had as much fun today as we did on this adventure. And we'll see you on our next Raptor, Raptor Adventure. adventure.